Here's now local hockey after the Lakehead Thunderwolves came within 0.6 seconds of a shootout against the University of Minnesota Duluth on Friday. The two teams met again Saturday at the Fort William Gardens. Now, LU fans, of course, very interested to see what adjustments would be made and how the Wolves would fare in their second meeting with the NCAA powerhouse in as many nights. The answer? Not so good. This one went the way many probably expected the first matchup to go. The Wolves looked completely overmatched for much of the game and remain winless all time against UMD. Maybe it was fatigue, maybe it was because a better opponent adjusted their game on night two of a back-to-back. -back. Whatever the reason, the Thunderwolves simply weren't as good on Saturday against the Bulldogs as the 8-4 final score effectively indicates. All four of Lakehead's goals came in the third period with the game already out of hand. Not surprisingly, Coach Bill McDonald was much happier with Friday's performance when his team was less than a second away from taking the NCAA's seventh ranked club to a shootout. Everybody in there, they know they give it all. So you got to pick yourself up the next day and you got to do it again. And you have to be uh, mentally at the same uh, level you were the night before. I don't know if we were there. New defenseman Justin Sefton, who put on a Thunderwolves uniform for the very first time Friday, agrees they weren't as sharp on Saturday but he doesn't believe mental fatigue had anything to do with it. When I wake up this morning, it was more hungry than anything because I thought we should have won last night. I think uh, when you lose with 0.6 seconds left in overtime, you know, it, you want to kick yourself. But and like any hockey player, you wake up with a drive to win. That's what you want to do. So when you lose a game like that, you, you come back, uh, you want to come out flying. And we, again, we just didn't do that again tonight. None of those playing in front of him will say it, but goalie Justin McDonald, who started every game while Bosch was injured, played poorly on Saturday in a game where Lakehead needed him to be sharp in order to stay competitive. That simply wasn't the case. The goals weren't great. Uh, I've already looked at them. Uh, Justin probably had a rough night. But the coach never entertained the idea of pulling him in favor of Bosch, who was excellent on Friday. Even Bosch admits once the adrenaline wore off, he was incredibly sore after his first game action in nearly three months. The fourth-year netminder says overall he was happy with his return to the ice. I had a lot of first saves and I was, I was able to control my rebounds, uh, which was a big thing. It uh, kept their second opportunities down a little bit. And uh, for the most part, the guys kept the shots to the outside. And, um, you know, I felt pretty good for my first game back. My intentions were maybe to play him 10 minutes last night and maybe 10 minutes tonight. But he was going so good last night and obviously keeping it as a game. I didn't, I didn't take him out and we ran him the whole game. But... Uh, he was just like uh, on top of it, like intense, and some of the saves he made were incredible. The Wolves will likely need Bosch to continue that strong play and, of course, stay healthy when league play resumes if they hope to turn around a season that thus far has been a disappointment. And that